Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I take pictures of my greeting cards to sell on Etsy and on my website. I like to make them look a bit more interesting than just like a picture of the card on its own. I like to add a few different um, things to the photo which I will show you some examples. So these are some of the pictures that I've taken of my cards and I use them for like I said Etsy and my website and I'm not like the biggest Etsy seller going. I've made a few sales but I've not got like hundreds and hundreds of sales. I've not been doing it for that long but I do like taking pictures and I feel like I might be able to give you a bit of inspiration or just give you some ideas on ways to take pictures. And so yeah, this is going to be quite like a casual laid back video, I'll just talk you through some of the stuff that I do. And if you're interested and want to find out more then please keep watching. So first things first, this is the wall that I use to take my pictures against. I purposely painted this wall this colour because I really wanted it to look nice in the background of my pictures. I do really like the colour obviously just for the office but yeah, I painted it with this in mind and obviously if you don't have like a wall or something that you've purposely painted, don't worry, just find like a nice little corner of your house or like a nice plain wall that you can use to um, use as like a backdrop. Even if it's not a wall, like just somewhere that is quite like plain or however you want the background of your photos to look, but I quite like them to look plain. So I'll just set my camera up now and I'll start setting all the stuff up. I use the two side tables and put like a few different items on such as like flowers and I'll show you but I'm going to start setting it up and then I'll talk you through it. So this is the setup that I use. I do it pretty much the exact same every time. Um, but I might just change like a few things, like I change the flowers or uh, just something different in it every now and then just to keep it interesting. Um, I often like check back at um, photos of the setup just to make sure I've got it like pretty similar. And this time I'm using these flowers instead. I usually use like a eucalyptus flower but I really like these. They're a bit more autumnal and they're just like dried flowers. I get them from um, a local flower shop in Garstang. Flowers by Morgan I think they're called and they do some really nice flowers and they look really good in the pictures so <laughs> that's what I use. And then I've got two big studio lights these are the lights, I've got two of these and I usually just put them like side by side and face them towards the setup so that I've got a really good like amount of light so I'll do that now Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Right, there we go. I've just set those up so that there's one at each side and they're both pointing down towards my photo setup. I already had these lights because I use them for drawing and filming my tutorials and stuff. If you don't have anything like this, I'd suggest using natural daylight possibly. So go somewhere with like a, a big window or you know where there's like a natural light coming in and if not these lights are £30 I think on Amazon but you could probably get something a bit smaller like maybe a ring light or just something with like good um, daylight type light so it's very white rather than being really warm but just have a play around with what you've already got and worse comes to worse if you do have to get something then these aren't too expensive but it lighting's really important if I didn't like this setup now it'd look really bland and yeah it wouldn't look right so 
yeah, I'll show you now how I take the pictures. This is just a little close up, so that's obviously the greetings card. I've got the envelope underneath it just to create a bit of interest and I always like to put a pen as well also just to add a bit of context, add a bit of interest and I use this little wood slice that I got, I don't know where I got that, I think it's just like a, I think it might have been from Barton Grange, just like a garden centre. You put like your salt and pepper and stuff in it and I've just turned it upside down and yeah, I like the rustic look of it, so I just use that and it seems to work okay. <laughs> and there are the flowers behind. So we'll see how that looks. I'm going to try taking some pictures now. All I use to take my photos is my iPhone. So I've got the iPhone 11, I think, and it takes really good pictures. And yeah, if you've got a smartphone, literally just use that. They take good pictures. They've got really good cameras now. One important thing to know is using Etsy, the photos, the dimensions are slightly different to what you can upload to a website. So I always do two lots of pictures. I do one that's like a sideways picture like that. And then for my website, I just change the, um, the proportions of the picture and I do a square one. So I just do two different, I learned that the hard way, I do two different ones and just edit them afterwards. So I'm going to start taking some pictures now. So that is the photo. I think it looks quite good actually. I really like the flowers in the background. I like how autumnal they look. So I might even just try... Do I try and turn it round and get the orange bit? Hmm. I'm gonna try it. For all in this I stand alone Show me where the Indian goes on and Oh, that's nice. Oh, can you see? That's nice. I like the orange. I think it just adds a bit more colour. There's a bit more going on. So I'm going to do the sideways picture now. But let's see. I should be the last to know. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly. I should be the last to know. There we go. That looks pretty good. I quite like that. So now I'll just do the other design and I'll show you how I edit the pictures after. I don't know whether that looks a bit strange, it's a bit autumnal, but the actual card is a bit more summery, I'd say. So I might try and change the flowers. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to do the sideways. Hello. I'm happy with how that's turned out too. Now I'm going to edit the pictures and I'll start uploading my listings. All I do is I just edit all of my pictures on my phone for ease. Uh, so I'll just edit, I'll have a look through, see which one's the straightest, the one that I like the best and I just have, I literally just have a play around with the different editing stuff. So like exposure, I usually turn that up a little bit Brilliance, sometimes turn that up a bit, right, turn the shadows down. I literally just have a play around with all the different settings on my phone and that's it. I don't do anything on Photoshop because it just takes too long and I don't really do that much to it to be honest. If you've got good lighting then you're pretty much three quarters of the way there. I will favourite the pictures that I've edited and the ones that I like best so then when I go into my favourites folder I can just easily find which ones I'm sending to my laptop. 
Right, I'm on my Etsy page now, so I'm just going to send myself these pictures. What I'm going to do, usually I just copy the listing that I've already got, but if you're starting from scratch, you'll need to set a new one up. So I'm just going to copy. I'll start with the hair. There we go, so that's the picture. And obviously it's not a woodpecker. So I just need to do the description. So this leap of fur her uh, greetings card is perfect for the wildlife lovers in your life. There we go, so that is a new listing now. I'll just do the same, delete the first one. I like to put a picture of what the back of the card looks like and a picture of the compostable bag just because um, it's important to me that the packaging isn't all plastic so I like to make a point of that. And then I'm just going to copy the description. There we go. So that is now a listing. I'm just going to show you what that now looks like on my website. I use Wix for my website by the way. Oh it's not done it. I've not saved it. And there it is. That is the picture. I'll insert them into this video as well so that you can have a look and get some inspiration to do your own if this is something that you're interested in doing yourself. I also have a video on how I actually make the cards. I don't make them myself but I do like the scan scanning of the artwork and putting it onto a template and then printing it through an online company. That is something I can help you with if you don't know where to start. It's really fun. I really enjoy the process of selling my own cards. I just love doing all the pictures and all the designs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please make sure to like it, hit the notification bell and subscribe. I'd love if you would join me. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.